Hello, this is Genki Pro from Save or Quit. Today I'm having a look at Ruin Arch from uh, Makima or Machima Games, I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Uh, they've had a couple of other games on Steam in the last few years that I haven't played, Academia, School Simulator and Political Animals. Um, this is a completely different uh, sort of genre, a, an evil overlord simulator according to the Steam store page. Uh, now it's not, not actually available yet, it's uh, due out in early access in about two weeks. I was fortunate enough to be given a pre-release copy to take a look at. Um, there's not a whole lot of content just yet, but uh, it's, it's uh, looking interesting. Um, a few of these things don't work, there's some basic settings. Um, yeah, you can see I'm running in 4K and uh, all the usual stuff. Um, I will go through and play the tutorial and uh, ah, look at this, it doesn't want to go away. <laughs> There's a few little wonky bits like that. Um, you can see eventually it looks like it's going to have uh, six little uh, game areas and a customised thing presumably similar to RimWorlds. The whole, whole thing looks quite similar to RimWorld in my point of view. Um, from my point of view rather, the, uh, the gameplay is sort of a similar loop and similar sorts of concepts. Um, it's, uh, it's sort of cool. Let's take a look. So, tutorial. Okay. Uh, load times are a bit long. Uh, I haven't actually checked, but uh, it sort of looks like Unity uh, from the settings and stuff. I probably shouldn't say that without checking, but uh, hey, that would be my guess anyway. I think that might be me. Right. So you can see here it says it's a demo. Um. <laughs> so I guess that's sort of key to the amount of content that's here at the moment. This. Uh, comment here. Um, I, I've only played about two and a half hours maybe and I've already completed uh, all, all the goals that are here. I've done the tutorial and the other other mission that's there. Um, and it's really easy. So uh, so I guess yeah, if you want to actually have fun with the content that's here at the moment, you really need to make your own fun like a sandbox. Come on tutorial. There we go. So uh, nice little hoppers. Tooltips tend to be pretty good. A few grammatical errors but it's not too bad. Uh, I've got edge scroll on just because I like it, but uh, it's your choice. Um, that's as far as the zoom range uh, allows, which is one of the biggest problems with the game, I think. You, I mean, that's the biggest overview you can get. You really need to be able to zoom out more than that, especially in 4K. It's just, just nuts. Um, and uh, it would be good to have a mini-map too, which they don't have. So uh, there's some missing things. I don't know if they're planned. I hope so. So, click on an object. Blink. Most things don't have, have uh, many comments. I don't know if they're going to. Uh, people do and some objects do. Um, owners. But uh, that's about it really. Yeah, it looks as though it's only really people. And a villager. Hey dude. So I'm not sure what the point of the area is. Um, it just sort of groups things together. But uh, I mean, I don't know what the difference is between that one and that one. That one says it's a farm, and they're both houses. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. There must be some sort of grouping that might make sense later on. Franklin, human stalker. So uh, this is where it starts to look a lot more like. Um, Remote stuff uh, with little traits and statuses. <laughs> oh, that one's evil. <laughs> oh, I can't click on Leland while he's sleeping, that's no good. Alright. Hey Peyton, I'll get an evil one. It's 
So, uh, I guess unlike most other colony sims, remote included, your your purpose in this is to actually destroy the village, <laughs> make sure you kill everyone, um, and that's that's the only goal really. Um, you can do it however you want, and that's where the fun comes in. And uh, I like the interactions between each other, between different uh, villages, although it's uh, the AI is quite limited at the moment. So they have relations with each other. Uh, that's there you go. Yeah, that's uh, this person's opinion of Devon, and that's Devon's opinion of this person. And uh, they have different categories: wife, daughter, blah blah blah. Do log. Yeah. So click on the afflict button and apply vampirism. This is where it gets fun. Unfortunately, one of the problems with the AI is that they don't often hide what they're doing. There seems to be some really basic things, like this one's coming in here to do, do it while no one's in there, but if someone else walks in, he'll still just do it, rather than wandering away. Like that. There you go. Now give me those chaos swarms. Um, and uh, I played another one where, where they killed... Oh, now that, that guy's just ignoring it, I mean, sure. You saw someone drinking your husband's blood, you just want to go in and go to bed, good idea. Um, so it's, it's, yeah, the AI needs a lot of work. Um, I saw someone in a previous game kill someone and just drag the body straight through the village with everyone around. So, uh, yeah, it needs a bit of improvement there, but the idea is cool. The eye, so this is all about uh, collecting intel that you can tell people about. Oh look, someone killed him. Spider coming in to attack people. Haha, <laughs> nice work. Um. So it's got me doing a couple of different tasks here, so we'll, none of these will actually mean anything. So you can do much better things than that if you see someone drinking someone else's blood or whatever then you can go and tell their husband and then they have a fight and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, there's some cool things you can do with it, but that's not a great example. Uh, spells tab. Combine spells, so uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. So let's get some wet tiles. Boom. And then you can electrocute people. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, Howie. Oh yeah, who else are we going to get? Oh, just those two. Did that actually do much to him? No, it didn't do any damage anyway. It's a bit silly. Clean that up. No, I'll just do it there just to pass the tutorial. So, uh, yeah, you can trigger a powerful explosion. Now, oh, here we go. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> Damn, it's gone. 
the Zerg. <laughs> oh dear. Let's store that one as Intel. Oh, nice. Uh, okay, so it wants us to build a kennel. So, I haven't actually seen anything useful. It says they have different behaviour. I've only tried to put some uh, domesticated animals in there, like sheep or cows or pigs or something. I can't remember what it was. I think it was a sheep. And uh, it didn't do anything different. So, uh, so that was a bit disappointing. I don't know. I wanted to have like a demon sheep. I thought that would be really cool. Um, oh, there's one now. What else could we grab instead? What is that? That's an ant. Oh, let's have an ant. Cool. Read an ant. Oh, yeah. Nice. Cool. Um, okay, so where's this dead villager? Wrong. <laughs> oh, nice. Um, click on log. A gooker. Okay. Ah, Professor. Well, store that one too. So, I don't know what the point was in finding out who killed her, we actually can't tell anyone about it. That should surely be a piece of intel, but, uh, oh well. Hey Franklin, let's tell you about this one. Come on, stop walking. Oh my lord. <laughs> That's better. Okay, so now we can spawn someone. Um, they don't tend to. <laughs> Good little vampire. They don't tend to actually uh, do a whole lot of damage, but uh, they're not bad. Let's chuck in. Um, so, it's also been quite buggy, uh, twice when I've got to this point the tutorial's got rather wonky, but this time it seems to be working, so that's a bit, of shame, a bit surprising. Taylor, Coward and Terra. Uh -huh. Good work. See the combat AI is pretty bad too, other than taking out the guy with no health, it attacks someone else, but hey, that's alright. Um, okay, let's see what our end does. Looks like it's just behaving as normal. Can't do anything different with it. Still, an end's pretty cool. Ah, oh, but then they left him alone. Grrr. What that does? Nothing. Hmm. Um, so anyway, that's the, the tutorial. Uh, I think I'll quit back to main menu. Um, there seems to be no way to save a game or continue it, so this continue and load game are completely pointless at the moment from what I can see. Uh, but they may be implemented before early access begins in a couple of weeks. So, we have one, uh, one world that's available, with a single small village in it. 
And again, the idea is to uh, to wipe out the population. So you can do it very easily. Um, as the tutorial just showed them, we took out three of them or something in a very short time. Uh, the first time I played a village, it was extremely quick. And uh, I had a zombie apocalypse within a couple of days. Um, but other times, um, yeah, people will get healed and, and things are much harder. But uh, yeah, I guess there's, there's a really good um, sort of framework here for building on. Uh, I really like the traits, the flaws, uh, all the people, relationships, all of that sort of stuff. And the interface is mostly easy to use, although the zoom and lack of minimap aren't too good. Um, it's just no depth yet. Um, so I'm hoping that'll come. It's, uh, it's looking pretty cool otherwise. Uh, okay, so it's generated me a random world. Uh, presumably you can regenerate that world later, but it's not working at the moment. And uh, even though this looks like multiple things, multiple towns or areas you could do things with, it's actually not. Um, all of this will be on the one game map when we start playing, I've discovered. But I don't know what these boxes are formed that into anything at the moment. Okay, so uh, presumably there'll be a different archetypes, archetypes later. Um, at the moment there's only this one. Uh, you can pick some spells, it gives you those ones which you can't change, and then you can choose some others. Um, it's not a huge range, but they're pretty cool what is here. <laughs> okay, we'll have a landmine. Don't know what that one does, we'll have a look. Uh, afflictions, they always seem to be the same, I think. I haven't seen anything different. Uh, I hope they had a whole lot more of them, but those ones are pretty cool, as they are. Uh, minions, lust and a pride demon, and there aren't many of these to choose from either. Uh, it looks as though there are either defense ones, um, or attack ones, or special. There you go. Uh, prevent them from moving. Oh, I thought I had a different one. Oh, that looks like it. Uh, no more structures yet at the moment, and uh, no more of these abilities, so that's always the same. But uh, since they have them as different types, I'm expecting they'll have different archetypes that will let you um, let you do cool things with them. A bit more choice. Hello, troll. I'm Doctor. Um, so. Oh, I didn't actually mean to do that. So you can see that there are three ratings. The first one is the number of amount of mana it uses, uh, which you get from uh, doing chaotic things and collecting the orbs that come out. The second one is uh, must be regeneration time, or the cooldown time. And the uh, third one, I'm not sure. Uh, I thought that was going to be the exclamation mark. Um, some of these other abilities have exclamation marks. So, uh, for example, damping someone, there you go. Uh, four. So uh, that'll raise the alertness of me by four. Maybe three is the number of charges you have during that cooldown period. Um, anyway, let's have a look at the sorts of villages we have. Full sprightly authoritative suspicious. Oh, what a nice man. I like to make them fall around. Hothead. Cool. Uh -huh. Oh, I like him. We'll make him something tricky. Her uh, something tricky. Maybe she can be our psychopath. What is her husband? Hothead. Sprightly.
She doesn't like sprightly people. Oh, you can't choose sprightly. That's a shame. Oh well, let's just have her kill men. <laughs> nice. Oh, a music lover and a music hater living together. <laughs> That's always good. <laughs> Uh, what can we give them? You can be unfaithful. And you can have <laughs> clipped mania. <laughs> oh dear. Sorry, tiny things amuse tiny minds. Blessed, so I can't affect that one. Another music hater, all lustful. Let's make you have the plague then. That's always good for a lustful person. I can get them. Vampirism. Oh. Okay, there we go, They're all most of them are afflicted with something. So they go about their day doing whatever they like. Um, you can't even find out what most of these things do at the moment. But uh, some of them should be relatively self-explanatory, I would think. Um, oh good. Chaos orbs give you mana, someone must have done something, I didn't see what it was. <laughs> Try to make them miserable. So what happened here? Parker died. Terence is curing his own illness. Oh, that's no good. Oh, that was a bit dumb. Shouldn't have made him plagued. Or did I make someone else plagued? Maybe I did. Ah, oh, yes. He got it from someone else. That's good. <laughs> Killed Parker in a psychopathic ritual. Yeah! That's what I like to see. Um, but look, she's happy to just go wandering around with no one caring that she's carrying a dead guy. So uh, yeah, that would be nice. Frame up, uh, okay, so that's uh, telling you to steal something and let them witness it. level as well. <laughs> Another fighting.
Only dead. Oh, it's just unconscious. Oh, people don't like people transforming into wolves. Why don't we tell Cuthbert about that? Shocked and threatened. Prison. <laughs> oh well, look, I've killed two of them already. Oh, there's someone coming along. that she died. So uh, there you go, look I've just been clicking around and four of them are dead already, I didn't mean to do quite uh, that much. Is there a live villager anywhere? Uh, no, a demon? Oh wow, well, they killed some. Quentin's still alive for some reason, he's sleeping on the floor. Uh, uh, uh where's the faction? Ah, there. So, uh, factions haven't actually done very much. I uh, don't actually do very much at the moment, but, uh, yeah, there you go, you can find out who's in it. Um, where they're based, all that sort of stuff. I'm assuming it will be more important later on. Oops. about that one. Hey Whitney, did you know Madison's killing people? <laughs> Excuse me, I'll just have a sloaf of tea. So, is Whitney going to go and kill someone now? Poison the food, oh nice! Tell Nix about that. <laughs> oh, he's not going to do anything. He's still going to go and have dinner. Or she is still going to go and have dinner. Oh, who are you fighting with? Posey. Oh, poor old Quentin. Is he the paralyzed one? Oh no. Yes. <laughs> Worried, hungry, dead. <laughs> what are they fighting about? Oh, 
are these poor dead people? Where are you going for? To steal the table, but it's poisoned. Don't steal the poison table. people going in here. Um, so what I <laughs> haven't showed you, and I might run out of time to do so, is uh, you can also build a torture chamber and a special church. She hasn't had a very good time. <laughs> oh, our little skeleton is carrying her somewhere. What did she get from that? Traumatized. And evil. Well, let's grab her again. Hey, Whitney. We're going to turn you into one of us. You can go and get Nick's back for being so mean. Can't next slide. Haha, <laughs> hey Whitney. Oh, she's suicidal now. And she's the ruler. Oh dear. Not had fun in a long time. Well, I know how to give you fun. Let's. Oh, we can't give you. Make you a psychopath. Let's make you unfaithful. And I got to many. And I like it through. Do you want to give you the plague too? No, we won't give you the plague. That seems a bit over the top. She's eating. I hope that's not the poison table. No, she's full now, she's happy. And she's fighting her table. She's going to steal something. Um, what can we do? Let's trigger Unfaithful. Yes. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, poor Whitney. She's crying over and over again, giving me lots of mana. Oh yeah. So, who is Easton's partner and is she still alive? Nyx. No, Nyx is dead. Oh well. Do you have any, uh... Oh, there's nothing wrong with you. So it's now where you're uh, hot-headed and paralyzed. <laughs> right, dude. That's what happens when you flirt with Whitney.
Uh, you could poison your neighbor. Oh, pose is not very nice. Poison her. I think you'd better booby trap something in there too. Oh. She's a wolf. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, let's tell everyone about those. Who can we tell? There are only three left. I'd better tell Madison. Oh, we can't tell Madison. She's unconscious. We can tell Posey that though. <laughs> oh, we can't tell him her anything. Come on, Madison, how do I select you? That's not good. Oh, it's because the table's selected. I'm actually. Oh, there we go. Oh, you have the plague. Oh, I bet you're going to give it to poor Posey. Posey has the plague. Ah ha ha. Oh, Easton's still alive too. Well, that's no good. Um, let's pop you in the prison too. Maybe you'll get the plague. Oh, Madison was going to kill you. That's a shame. Oh, what? Oh, <laughs> she killed a pig. <laughs> oh dear. Madison, what are you doing? She's edible. Hmm. <laughs> oh, could Posey die? Oh no, she's malnourished and catatonic. Oh. Not anymore. <laughs> Hope he's going to get poisoned now. Poison actually did anything. Well, that's annoying. But now she's dead. So, these poor guys in the prison aren't really going to do anything. I might have stuffed this up for myself now. Ah, oh, boom.
Eastern is screaming for help. He's happy. <laughs> oh dear. Eastern's dead. Yay. Oh my lord, she's strong. I'm gonna put her on fire here. No, oh, so that doesn't set her on fire either. Uh, we can summon a demon. Yay! <laughs> so, there you go. Um, as you can see, there are multiple ways to succeed, but it's uh, actually not that difficult. Um, so that is is uh, Ruinarch, or Ruinarch, whatever it's supposed to be. Um, it, it looks sort of cool. It, ha it has a good uh, good framework, some really good ideas, uh, but it's just not really fleshed out quite yet. So uh, so yeah, have a look out for it. It says it launches in early access on August 25th there, and um, it could be a good one to watch, I think. So uh, I'm Genki Pro. From Sable Quit, thank you for watching and please uh, keep an eye out for my preview on the Sable Quit website soon. And uh, don't forget to join my channel on Steam, Genki Pro's Games. Thank you very much, see you.